UI cards are everywhere. Here's how to design in Acapro. Users can find cards in so many places, on blog, dashboards, e-commerce websites, and even in your Figma Files Manager. Cards are great because they're intuitive, easy to scan, and they help users to quick find the information they're looking for. Here's a breakdown of 9 tips to help you design and master your card design. You've heard the saying, a picture is worth 1000 words, right? Well, the same is true for images you see on cards. They're often the first thing people notice, so make them look good. Use high quality, relevant and clean visuals to grab attention and encourage users to click. The better the image, the more engaging your card becomes. If you have the space, don't afraid to show off the details. A larger image can affect how users react to your card. And here is a pro tip. Add small buttons to let users customize things, like changing colors or switching images. This adds an interactive element that keeps users engaged. Square corners are correct, but they feel hard and cold. By adding rounded corners, your design becomes softer and more inviting. However, balance is key. Rounding the corners too much can make your design look unprofessional. A good guideline is to keep the values between 4 and 24 pixels, just enough to soften the edges without going so far. Consistency also matters. Match your card corners with other design elements like buttons or images to create a cohesive look. For an elegant style, use a smaller inner radius than the outer radius. These small details can make your design feel polished and tidy. A clear information hierarchy makes your card easier to read and understand. Think about it, when users look at a card, they need to know what is important and where to focus their attention first. Without hierarchy, everything feels confusing and chaotic. Here are two cards with the same content. The first card is unorganized with the subtitle on the top, the image at the bottom and no clear order. It is confusing. The second card is organizing clearly. It starts with the image, followed by the title, then the subtitle, the price and finally a call to action button. It's clean, clear and easy to follow. By organizing information effectively, you can guide users naturally through the card information and help them make decisions faster. Speaking of hierarchy, typography plays a big role in creating it. Think about how bold and large text naturally catch your eyes. It's telling you, hey, this is important. On the other hand, smaller text takes second place, letting other elements stand out. You can also use color to control hierarchy. A soft color, for example, makes the text feel less important while still keeping it readable. It is not just about style. Functionality matters too. Choose fonts that are easy to read and avoid use sizing that are too small. An easy rule? Stay above 14 pixels to ensure readability. When done right, typography doesn't just make content easier to read. It is also improves the overall visual design. The key to designing effective cars is focusing on what matters most to the users. Ask yourself, what is the most important information the user needs first? For instance, in many cases, the image can communicate a lot without extra text. It gives user context quickly and visually. Next, prioritize the details. In this example, price is often the first thing users look for when deciding which card to click. If the price feels right, they will move on to secondary details like delivery time. By putting the most relevant information front and center, you help users make faster decisions and improve their overall experience. Spacing is the secret sauce that makes your design look clean and tidy. When you leave enough white space around elements, the information has room to breathe, making it easier to read and understand. Plus, it creates a sense of elegance. But spacing isn't just about separating elements, it is also about connecting related content. For example, keep titles and subtitles close together, so they feel like they are belonging to the same group. Pro tip for consistency, Use a grid system like 4 pixels or 8 pixels as your baseline. This helps you maintain harmony across your design and ensures everything feels balanced. Hover states are an opportunity to surprise and engage your users. When someone hovers over your card, you can use animations or effects to grab their attention. For instance, slightly elevate the card to make it feel dynamic, zoom in the image to reveal more details, or show secondary view to encourage users to click. Hover states are not just about aesthetics, they are also about usability. Make sure the entire card is clickable, not just the call to action button. This makes the experience more intuitive and user friendly. Drop shadows create depth and separation in your design. While you can use a stroke or different card color to separate the card from the background, a shadow can make your card stand out. This will give it a floating effect that feels elegant. However, avoid strong or dramatic shadows. Instead, Opt for soft, delicate shadows that blend seamlessly with the rest of the interface. The goal is to create a sense of elevation and elegance without overdoing it. Finally, let's talk about responsiveness. Just like one size don't fit all, your cards need to adapt to different devices and screen sizes. Start by defining minimum and maximum width for mobile and desktop. This ensures your card look great, no matter if they are on small phone or wide desktop monitor. Also, set the minimum height to maintain visual order. Without it, Cards with different amounts of content can make your layout feel messy.
Once your design is complete, don't forget to perform a design QA after development. This step ensures your card look and work perfectly at every side. Looking for design tips that actually work? Follow Rogue Rocket and like this video to keep learning more.